I spoke with God before I arrived here. Our conversation shaped my perspective before I even knew I had one. He grabbed my hands and stretched them out as far as possible. Then he placed the crystal sword in my hands. The iridescent glare bounced off of the tip of the sword, pierced through my eyes, and then ignited my soul. Then he placed the backpack on my back. My knees instantly buckled. He told me that I needed this bag for my mission. Then he anointed my feet, and an indigo hue flashed up to the crown of my head. And then he looked at me and said, Now you are a leader. He placed his hand on my heart and made it pure. He then embraced my forehead with a kiss and made my intentions good. I asked him what my mission was. He placed his hands on my shoulders, looked me in my soul and said, You will learn. I was born into this world with my arms stretched wide, willing to offer all of me. Sometimes that was misunderstood. Being mistaken frustrated me. My indigo hue started to turn to bright red as my doubts and insecurities were etched into my skin like tattoos. With every word that appeared on my skin, I descended into myself, closing every door and window that connected me to the outside world. Every burst of anger closed every door, and every doubt closed every window and every insecurity bolted them closed for what seemed like forever. I sat in darkness as my hue went from scarlet to fuchsia to indigo. I turned my head and saw my sworn backpack. I was reminded of that day I spoke with God before I arrived here. This reminded me that I have more tunnels ahead of me, more obstacles to overcome, and a greater mission to fulfill. I lay my body on the cold, hard earth, tension released from my muscles like steam from a tea kettle, and I proceeded to sink into nature. My ears began to ring violently as the word, you will learn, echoed in the distance. It echoed seven times, then everything faded to black. I woke up feeling light. I felt liberated. I opened my eyes and all of my windows and doors were wide open. The bolts were rolling on my crystal floors. Light shot through every opening possible, illuminating every inch of my room. I stretched my arms up and rubbed the back of my neck. My index finger glazed over the words, Indigo Child, that was etched into my flesh. That was my new name, my only label, Indigo Child. I stepped out of the door into the blazing sun, looked around and saw hundreds of people with indigo hues. 
We are all indigo children. Our movements are driven by hunger, which leads us to cultivation. Why is it that we fear the process? Our roots are strong and mighty. We grow tall on our own. We know that a greater power leads us. We make every decision with a pure heart. Our thoughts uplift. Our touch heals. Our visions are driven by spirit. We have a sense of knowing, an awareness, a purpose.